Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Just a quick video today to show you guys something for the 35XX Plus and the H. So, I took the stock image and noticed that somebody was working on a XFCE desktop build. So, using that, they had it set up so you need the stock launcher to get into Wi-Fi, then you launch the desktop and stuff like that. So what I did was I took it and I completely bypassed the stock launcher so it launches right into the desktop and then I added the ability to log into Wi-Fi directly from the desktop. Also installed build essentials and CMake and all the crap you would need for a, a build environment. So as you can see here you can go get into your Wi-Fi right there. It's a little bit cumbersome to click with with this here but uh, it actually supports mouse and keyboard or a wireless mouse and keyboard as well. So, see now I can just move the mouse instead of having to. So you got your build environment. You got a full terminal here. There also is a virtual keyboard if you don't have a mouse and keyboard. So basically, the idea behind my doing this is that this can just be used as a, a starting point or as a testing bed for people that want to work on it. So if you want to build retro arts, you want to try building different front ends, you want to try building ports or different emulators and things like that. You can kind of do it all from here and then once it's in a more usable state you can disable the desktop and boot right into whatever it is you're working on, whether it's emulation station or retro arts directly or you know, whatever you want it to do. But I just thought that would be nice to give people something they could use as a starting point. That's about it for this video, it's supposed to be super quick and to the point, that's really all I have to say. Uh, when you go to log out, it just takes you back to XFCE, so that's why I added these here. You just click on it, or you can click from the device too, like you can just, wrong button. Then you execute, so if you want to shut down, you would click on that, you click execute, and then it would run the script and it would shut down. Anyways, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, hope you enjoyed the video, and also I'm working on Retro Arena for these devices as well. Take care.